All right, Evans, you got to study? They course. were making fun of us a lot yesterday, so we got to make sure we're good. That was you with the shaking hand, not me. Ah, right, that's true. <laughs> that's true. All right. Hey, guys. Mr. G, uh, Mr. Evans is uh, holding the camera. Um, couple things. So back, um, let's say, like maybe two or three weeks ago, we looked at the food truck. We tested the blob, and we tested the soap and the lard to see how it dissolved in alcohol and water. So I got a couple samples. A um, couple things that happened as I looked at your results, and Mr. Evans looked at his results too. A lot of the things were inconsistent. As scientists, we got to make sure we test, test, test. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at how the blob and also how lard and soap, how they compare when we put them, when we use universal indicator with them. So what I got here, I got a couple samples. So here's our blob. Um, here's our blob that I got um, last night. We also have the lard. I got a sample of the lard. And we also got some soap. Now, what we're going to do, um, we have our couple test tubes. Um, and so we have the salt. I'm sorry, salt. Uh, soap. We also have a sample of the lard. And then we have a sample of the blob. So Mr. Evans is going to show us uh, real quick how we're going to go about testing them. All right. So um, basically what I'm going to do is uh, I set these up so that I've got my soap in here. I'm going to add a little bit of water, but I just wanted to make sure you saw it was soap. So we're going to add a little water just because we know that when we test um, with universal indicator, it needs to be a liquid. Um, and then I have the... Um, lard sample, the one that we know is lard, and this one I was just going to heat up really lightly. I'm going to put the test tube away from my face so I don't hurt myself, and of course I'm going to have my goggles on. Yeah, you don't want to burn all your hair that you have. Not funny. Um, so I'm going to heat this up, and basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if I can see a difference between the lard and the soap. And maybe that difference we'll be able to use to determine whether or not the blob, which is over here, is lard or soap. So let's. Um, I want you to pause for just a second. I want you to make a prediction. I've got the soap here. What is the acidity going to be of the soap? So when I put the when I put the universal indicator in, what's the acidity going to be? Write that down. Let me shake it up a little. Okay, hopefully you have your prediction. Now I'm going to put a drop or two in here. Let's see what happens. Ah, look at that. Hmm, yeah, I like that. It is definitely uh, kind of a darkish blue. Um, so write down what, what it is. What pH do you think that is? Okay, so now I have my liquid lard here, um, which is also pretty clear. The, the glass is, is a little bit uh, burnt because <laughs> of my heat source, which is just a lighter. Um, but now I'm going to put the universal indicator in this one. So again, I want you to write down what you think is going to happen. What color do you think this is going to turn? And our hope is that it's going to be different, right? Because if it's different, then we can test the blob and we can see what the heck is going on. Cross your fingers. Okay, let's... Oh, nice. Ooh, I like that. Now, because it is lard, it's kind of a fatty thing, but you can see I have to kind of look right in there, but you can see that the universal indicator is definitely orange. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's funny you say that, Mr. Evans, because we uh, had some type of way to figure out what pH level orange was. Mm-hmm. So what is the what what pH would you assume that is, given the color that it turned? It definitely is not blue. So that is really good news for us because as scientists, then we can do something with this data. Can we, you turn the this here to show me the letter? That way they know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. There we go. So, L for lard, S for soap. All right. All right. Now the moment of truth. 
I have the blob and I'm going to heat it up just like I did the uh, lard because oh, that might be some information we could use too. Huh? So I'm going to heat it up. I'm just trying to get it into a liquid form so that I can test it effectively. So I'm trying to be very careful here not to heat the glass in any one place because otherwise it'll break. And now I have my liquid. All right, make your predictions. The blob, is it going to be lard or is it going to be soap? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This is what scientists do. All right. Oh, look at that. Mm. I would say that looks a lot like this, personally, and not a lot like this. Yeah, uh, Mr. Evans, that's pretty different for the soap. Mm hmm. Compared to the blob, but looks like the lard and the blob look the same. So, the B, remember the B is for blob, L is for lard. All right, guys. So what you need to do is you need to take this information that we've just uh, done through this experiment and use that to be able to explain um, what your decision is about whether you close the food truck or leave it open and what kind of information you're going to provide to the owner so that they don't get mad at you or so that they do get mad at you, but you're right. <laughs> Go for it. Good luck, guys.